Hi guys, it's Danny from Inglorious Fishing. We're currently walking down towards the boat and we're going turbot and brill fishing. Now I'm going to head up to Bank de Nord on the north end of Sark. We're going to try that sandbank. We ain't been there for a while. So uh, hopefully there's a few brill up there, guys. So stay tuned. It's Inglorious Fishing. Let's make it a good trip. Well, guys, I've already dropped the mackerel and the petrol. Now let's get through the gate and let's get down there. She is. Get out of here. So guys, we've arrived at Bank de Nord. There's the bank on the plot of there. We've arrived at Bank de Nord. As you can see, I'm just on the head at the moment. I'm just gonna see what way we're drifting. Pump sucking in air for some reason. That should stop though. There's Sark in the background. You've got Jersey down there. You can actually see the outline of France over there. Other folks fishing. Stay tuned. Herm in the background, Guernsey in the background. Let's get some turbo and some brill. Yeah, boy. So guys, I'll give you a view of the first one. 
first rod going down, we got the uh, Penn Squall 20s as usual, the Tronic Pro Gorilla rods, they're a 8 foot rod, 20 pound class, absolutely fantastic rods by Tronic Pro, and we're just using a 10 inch boom there, I've got an 8 ounce lead on that, that's bobbing away, just to a swivel, and then about a 5, 6 foot trace down to another swivel, and then another couple of feet down to an 8 0 cox and roll meat hook, down to a mackerel flapper baby, which is just uh just where you take the backbone and the tail out and then it just flaps so uh, yeah it does exactly what it says on the tin guys stay tuned hopefully you get a turbo or a brill let's get it out there so guys second rod's going down same rod and reel combo but this one we're just using an eight ounce different wed lead this is from hotchie uh someone who i know hotchie he's uh yeah he's making up lead so he makes fantastic lead so if anybody wants these leads hit him up or hit me up and i'll send you to him and then we've got another 8 0 cock to roll with mackerel flappers. So hopefully, we can get a brill. I had a little knock then on top of them, but nothing materialised from it. Hopefully, we get one. Get one brillo willow, baby. Oh, well, guys, possible fish on. It didn't feel like a turbot. That's for sure. Feels more like a dogfish. Anyway, we want some Brillo Willows, baby. Hopefully, this tide picks up soon. So, guys, fish on. Or something on. And this is dead weight. I don't think this is a dogfish. So, I don't want to be saying that yet. Look at the bed. Feels a better fish, that's for sure. Hopefully, we can christen the new net. Hopefully, it's not a bit of weed or something. So, my lock doesn't feel massive. Really kicking, it's just dead weight, so circles that was why I've really thought that was a turbot then bloody dogfish we'll be letting them go today guys because I got pot bait anyway so yeah they will be getting set free today but hopefully we get a turbot next hopefully well guys there he is we're gonna chuck him back hopefully get that brill turbot Oh guys, there was a big shoal or something underneath the boat, and I think it's mackerel. And there's a huge shoal. That shoal's massive. If I had Benito up here, I'd have it with one of them. Yeah, have some of that. There's still marking, so. I'm not even going to call it. It's a bloody big dogfish if it is. I'll tell you that now. Dogfish. It can't be. It is. It's a doggy. 
because it's caught with it. It can't be a doggy, it can't be a doggy. It bloody can be a doggy, look at that. It's not even a big one neither. I'm gonna stop calling him now. Anyway, hopefully, we can windle through these dogfish and get you a Turbo Werbel or a Brillo Willow. Hopefully. Anyway, stay tuned. Well guys, knock fish on, I'm not even gonna call it. I'm not even gonna call it. I'm not having you for pop bait, chap. Yeah, whatever. I don't like getting whipped with these because the cut lasts for ages. Uh, everyone knows. At the head and at the tail. Easiest way to hold them. Get your hook back. There you are. Another woofter. I'm gonna release him now. Let's go right to the top of the head, hopefully. Get one of these turbos through these dogfish. So guys, we're up here. It's a bit windy, bit blowy. Being thrown around the place. All I had is a few mackerel and those three dogfish. And we lost the dogfish as well, so. Absolute waste of time at the moment. We might start making our way back towards Guernsey and go to the point yet, I'm not quite sure. But stay tuned, I'll let you know. Anything changes. So guys, there's not a lot happening up here. I've only seen one small turbot being pulled up and that was it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start making our way back towards Guernsey. We might either go to the Bream Mark or we're going to do the lobster pot. So, hope you enjoy the scenery of the islands on the way in. So guys, first strings up, first pot. Not a lot in there, and we baited it up well. Some spider crabs. Female spider crab there. Another female. 
going to be another female full of eggs you can see the eggs in the pouch there and a velvet swimming crab we hate them evil looking things these we get rid of that that's it all empty second pot we have oh we have a little lobster little larry he ain't gonna be big enough that lovely little lobster though beautiful send that back back he goes and big velvet swimming crab absolute monster that don't like them and another spider crab at the back so stay tuned guys i'm gonna bake these up and we'll play these back out and we'll get onto the smash string hopefully we do better on that one to that second string Got a second last strings up, smash fishing pot, absolutely nothing. Two spider crabs, second pot. We have brown edible crabs and spider crabs. Now they're no good, neither. And in the third and final pot, we have a lobster in the back there. He's not big enough, but yeah, lobster and velvet swim crab that's been eaten. So that's it, guys. I'm gonna bait these up, rebait them, play them out, and then we'll see what we're gonna do next. Glorious fishing. Well guys, that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. We're back into port. Absolutely dreadful day up Bank to Nor, but I heard that there was a big tote. Well, not big, about 20 pound tote caught, and we seen a little turbo about three, four pound, I reckon. And that was from Tony. So, uh, yeah, all in all, a bad day's fishing, but hey, uh, and we had no lobsters as well, so it was even worse. But anyway, guys, if you like the channel, like, subscribe, there's gonna be plenty more, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. It's Inglorious Fishing. Peace out.